All right. Hi there, guys. Today, I want to do a video review of an upcoming ICO called Box Network, um, also known as BZX. And as you can tell by their title, they are a protocol for 0x standard relays. Uh, maybe more easy to understand is that they are decentralized margin trading and lending that can be built into any decentralized exchange. Um, this is a pretty cool idea and it could totally change the way the crypto markets operate. Um, you know, at the moment, there's only a handful of coins that can be shorted on uh, BitMEX and Bitfinex, and there's a couple other exchanges like OKCoin and, and um, Kraken that allow a bit of shorting. But when you suddenly bring the ability to short and margin trade all these other ERC20 tokens, then it can really change the way that traders think and and trade. Um, now this is a this is an idea that a number of projects are looking to implement, but I really like this one. Um, they've already got a working product, and they've been at it for quite some time. Let's take a quick look at their roadmap. So as you can see, um, they've been at it since mid 2017 and their progress has been quite impressive um, they've got a highly technical team with a lot of experience coding and designing and they've already got a fully functional protocol um, their debut onto the testnet was in April um, so in under a year they took the idea all the way to functional beta on testnet and I believe their yeah their their mainnet is already out as well, um, from what I understand. That's not on here, but they launched they closed their beta mainnet and released the protocol. So I guess maybe that is when the uh, live mainnet came into play. So it's already up and you can use it. Um, it's still in the early stages, but it's really impressive um, in a space with so many projects that haven't really put anything out for these guys to have created something and brought it to market so quickly. Uh, now obviously the entire space and the decentralized exchange infrastructure needs to mature a little bit more, but considering that these guys are already up and running, they should be an early leader when decentralized exchanges can handle volume and, um, and offer more impressive and useful trading tools. So one of the other things that you'll be able to do with this is you'll be able to um, leverage, I guess, lend your ERC-20s and, and earn money from them while you're holding them. So this really works out well for long-term holders because they can actually earn some tokens while they hold and while they wait for um, the market to reach a selling price that is sufficient for them. Um, so one of the other things that BZX claims is that uh, they're going to make decentralized exchanges legitimate and actually work properly. And the, the way that they want to do this is by effectively pooling liquidity. And so you'll, you'll be able to... Um, have all these buyers and sellers that are putting in for different reasons. Maybe some are short-term traders, maybe some are long-term traders. Some of them are just lenders or borrowers and they'll minimize the spreads by allowing these all these different users to pool their liquidity and so this can allow for less slippage and tighter spreads and uh, this could be a really really useful um, useful thing for the decentralized exchange market because right now that is one of the big problems. You have some pretty big spreads and a lot of slippage if you want to get into a significant sized position on something like IDEX or uh, Ether Delta. Um, 
on a kind of side note or to go a little bit backwards, I have to say I really like the website. Um, this is definitely one of the coolest looking websites I've seen with all the animations um, out of all the crypto websites I've ever seen. Clearly a lot of work went into this. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's a good thing. Um, all right, so let's take a quick look at the team actually before. Let's take a quick look at the white paper. Um, I really like that the white paper isn't too long. Some of these white papers can be, you know, 50, 60, 70 pages, and it's just a bit much. Um, maybe some of that could be separated into multiple papers, uh, you know, one to more explain the project and another one to go into more of the nitty-gritty technical details. But um, BZX has a, a pretty straightforward and reasonably length white paper. Um, it's straight to the point. It it explains what needs to be explained fairly straightforwardly. Um, so here you go, 0x protocol, peer-to-peer -peer margin funding and trading. Uh, and that's the basic gist of it. So they do go into a little bit of technical detail, and then they talk about their token and some of the motivations, um, talk about their library, all this good stuff. The tech's a little over my head, but... Um, it's clear that they've already put out a lot of good tech. So let's keep going. Um, so you can see there's a 10% fee collected on the interest earned by lenders. Um, so that's one of the ways that the that the that the company actually earns some money, which is good to know. Uh, a lot of these projects don't really have viable income streams, so this is one of them. Um, and here it talks about the token a little bit. Um, so yeah, token does a couple things. It has some governance, and it has some incentivization of order book aggregation. Um, so it works similarly to the 0x token, as they say. Um, here's a number of the different orders that you can put out on the network. So I won't go into too much detail on the nitty-gritty but as you can see, it's not too long, and it's straightforward, and it's clearly put out. So if you want to get into the details, definitely check it out. All right, let's... Um, I've already looked at the roadmap. So let's look a little bit at the team and the advisors. Um, now, like I said before, the team has a lot of tech history and experience. Tom Bean's a CEO. He's a tech guy engineer, infrastructure expert for Nokia for a long time, team lead systems engineering, and then Kyle Kistner is the second lead, and they're the two kind of original founders, and he's um, more of an economics guy, he's like a, more of an academic, and I guess his expertise is going to be in the actual economics of how the lending and, and, uh, and leverage works. And then their tech team, they have some, some pretty impressive tech guys. Um, this is their lead blockchain software engineer. He's got a lot of experience. He's from Belarus. He's been doing this for a long time. And here is their, their DAP full stack engineer. Again, plenty of experience. Also from Belarus. And then they got a Canadian guy. Hey. Canada and uh, again yeah a lot of good experience in the tech department I would say um, probably my one concern is that they don't seem to be too experienced in terms of the actual like margin lending and leverage um, industry they don't really have anyone on their team who has done that professionally they have the one guy who's looked at it economic or um, academically um, one of their advisors, though, does have some experience in the space. Um, he's a chief investment officer of a of a of a fund um, with an AUM of over three point five billion, which is a lot of money. So that's good. And this guy used to do equity research and interest rate derivatives, securities, and and such. And he also has tech experience as an engineer. So this guy looks like he'll be quite helpful as an advisor. 
um, they also have a couple of advisors from some crypto uh, projects in the space, which is really good to see because um, that means that they'll have some experience coming from the crypto side too. They have the founder of ETHLEND, which is a really impressive decentralized lending project uh, built on Ethereum. And they also have a District Zero X project manager. So they have a, a pretty well-rounded team, just a little light on the trading side, I would say. But other than that, they look strong. Um, here's some of the relay in integrations that they already have. So that's good. They've already got that set up. And probably the m one of the most impressive things is that they've already got partnerships with some major decentralized exchange um, and, and uh, sector players. Uh, so Kyber is probably one of the most respected and um, expected to be one of the big players in decentralized exchanges. And then Maker has a, a really big stablecoin, the DAI, um, which is definitely very important because you're going to need a stablecoin for people trading on these networks. And the Tether is probably not going to do the job, nor will the Gemini, um, the Gemini stablecoin. And then ETHLEND, of course, have got that um, and a couple of other cool partners. So overall... They look like they have quite a good uh, team and project. Uh, like I said, the website looks really smooth. Um, I think this is a project that has a lot of potential, and I would definitely check it out and, and consider, consider using it when it's ready. I mean, it is ready using it when it's, when it's up in action and, and, uh, and doing significant work. And... Uh, and yeah, so that is the video for today, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, yeah, um, take it easy.